and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be vegan lunches that you can pack for school or work. They are all lunches that you can bring cold because I know that not everyone has access to a microwave when you're at school or at work so I thought it would be a good idea to make some recipes that you can eat cold but are still really good. Also, this is part two of my back to school series here on my channel, so if you missed part one, I'll link it down below. And if you don't want to miss part three, then don't forget to subscribe because that's going to be next Monday's video. But now, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the recipes. For the first lunch, we're going to be making this herb and garlic veggie bagel. For that, you're going to need an everything bagel, some vegan mayo, I used the Hellman one, a cucumber, green onions, a tomato, red onion, a clove of garlic, and also some pumpkin seeds. Let's start by making our herb and garlic mayo. To a small bowl, start by adding a tablespoon of vegan mayonnaise and a minced clove of garlic. Then just cut up your green onions into small pieces. The mix of the flavors between the mayonnaise, the garlic, and the herbs are really the highlight of this recipe. So if you decide to make this bagel, don't forget to try this mayo and let me know what you think. Now I'm just preparing the veggies that I want to add to my bagel sandwich. I really like the combination between tomatoes, cucumbers, and red onions, but you can decide to add any vegetable that you would like and that you think would be good on that sandwich. Now it's time to assemble our bagel sandwich. I'm adding the herb and garlic mayo that we did. And this mayo, guys, is so good. To me, it tastes like a herb and garlic cream cheese. And the combination with the everything bagel is really, really good. Now I'm just adding some pumpkin seeds for an extra crunch and also protein. Now it's time to add your veggies. I'm adding some tomatoes, cucumbers, and also red onions. I think it's the best combination between flavor and also freshness. I'm cutting the sandwich in half because I think it is easier to eat that way. I place my sandwich into this cute little glass container. And for snacks, I decided to cut up some extra cucumbers and also bring some pretzels. This lunch is so savory and fresh, and it's perfect to bring with you at work or at school. And if you decide to try out this recipe, definitely let me know what you think in the comments down below. Next up are these vegan pizza rolls. For that, you need one wrap, vegan pepperonis, I use the brand Eves. I think these pepperonis taste exactly the same as regular pepperonis, but they're vegan. Red onion, spinach, and also pizza sauce. I use the garlic pizza sauce because it is my favorite. Start by cutting your vegan pepperonis into smaller pieces. And also do the same for your onion. To make your pizza roll, start by adding your pizza sauce to your wrap. Then add your vegan pepperonis. You could also add some vegan cheese, but I didn't have any at home, so I just chose not to add any. Then you can add veggies of your choice. I just chose to add some spinach and red onions because that's what I like on my pizza. Cut your wrap in half and now you have this delicious pizza roll. You do not need a microwave to enjoy these pizza rolls because they are still really good when you eat them cold. For a snack, I just packed some blueberries and some pretzels. I hope you'll try this lunch, it tastes really good and it's so easy to make. Next up, we have this bean and quinoa salad. For that, you need a cup of quinoa, tomato, spinach, salsa, I like to use the medium spicy one, corn, and black beans. To 
cook your quinoa, you need two cups of water for one cup of quinoa. Bring your water to a boil and then after that, you can add in your cup of quinoa. I always cook my quinoa without the lid on the pot. I think it makes the best and fluffiest quinoa like you can see right here. To a large bowl, I'm just adding all of my ingredients together to form the salad. What I like to do is batch make the salad and have it for my lunches for all week. I make a pretty large portion and I have it for about three, even four meals sometimes. The salad is perfect for lunch for school it's pretty easy to make and I think the longest part is probably just waiting for your quinoa to cook. You can batch make it on Sundays and have it for all week for all your five lunches for school and not have to worry about making a lunch for the rest of the week. To a small bowl, I added some salsa to serve with my salad. I think the flavors go really well together. I also cut up a tortilla in small pieces to serve with the salad. I also recommend squeezing some fresh lime juice to your salad, it gives it a really nice flavor. This salad is delicious and packed with protein, it is perfect for lunch. Next up we have this veggie and hummus wrap. For that you need a wrap, garlic hummus, this is my favorite kind of hummus, red onion, cucumber, carrot, and spinach. First, I'm cutting my cucumbers into really small, bite-sized pieces. I really like shredded carrots in my wrap, so that's just what I'm doing. With the rest, I'm just cutting it into smaller pieces because we're gonna serve that up with the wrap later on. And for the onion, I'm just dividing it into really long slices. Now you can start by adding your hummus to your wrap. If you like hummus like I do, I put a lot of it. And that's not a bad thing, hummus has a lot of benefits, it has a great flavor and also a lot of protein. Then you can go ahead and add all of your veggies to your wrap. I choose to use spinach, carrots, onions and cucumbers, but you can add any veggies that you would like. I went ahead and cut my wrap in half because I think it is easier to eat that way. And like all of the other recipes in this video, you do not need a microwave for this lunch. To this glass dish, I'm just adding the wrap. On the side, I included some snap peas and also the rest of the carrot that we cut up earlier. This makes for a really healthy and delicious lunch that you can pack away for school or for work. It's simple to make and it's a great way to add in a lot of veggies to your diet. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and that you're enjoying this back to school series. Like I said in the beginning of the video, if you missed part one, I'll link it down below. And also, if you don't want to miss part three, don't forget to subscribe because that's going to be next week's video. And I'll see you guys all in my next one. Bye!